What up guys, your boy Kothis and we're back with another one. Now today we're going over one of my favorite builds I've put together and I've dubbed it the Cyber Ninja just because of the way it looks. I can't really find much in this game armor wise that looks very ninja-esque and this is kind of how I wanted to build. So I built a little bit heavier so we're a little bit tankier uh, as far as a ninja goes but it still moves very fast and it's still very very fun to play with. Now this isn't overall a meta build even though this build does a lot of good damage, very high crit or burst and has like a lot of good melee damage attached to it. It is not a meta build, so don't look at this as like a god tier build. Although this build will do very well in APOC, that's why I decided to make it a little bit tankier just so I wasn't getting one shot in Apocalypse. Everything that you're watching right now is nightmare footage, so this is definitely good for nightmare if you want to run through that. APOC, there are a couple things that I would probably switch around with my rings, but as far as the armor, I feel like it's pretty good to go because we are kind of in heavier armor, but we're still moving fast. Now, the overall movement speed of this sets around 25%. Once you get everything rolling with the, the right drink and the, uh, the buffs of hitting the melee weapon, because I have like a little attachment to the melee weapon that allows us to move faster, you're setting around 45% movement speed, which is up quite a bit, a lot more than you would think. All you gotta do is get a couple melee attacks and then just keep moving. Now, this build is really focused around the long range bow damage, but it is still very, very strong with up close and personal combat with the melee attacks. I've really enjoyed this build so far, so I decided to share it with you guys. Let's go ahead and get into the build, guys. All right, guys, real quick, uh, we are Shadow Assassin, which means we're running Invader first, Hunter second. I like running Invader first just because it gives us a decoy for three seconds and gives us 15% more damage to enemies that aren't targeting us. And this will actually last much longer than three seconds. Even though the decoy is only up for three seconds, enemies will stay confused longer than three seconds, usually like, you know, six second window. So it's really nice to have. You can use it to get out of sticky situations as well. We are using Wormhole with this character just for the 300% increase to damage. And then Hunter is our second. Now, if you want to put this first, you can because we are using shroud if you make this your primary then anytime you do 55 uh, base damage to a weak point or weak spot it allows you to extend the duration of your abilities which means we'll stay in invisible uh, for a longer duration as far as everything we're running i am running onk of power i do switch this out quite a bit with full moon circlet i like it a lot uh, you can run either one of these i feel like these are both really good for damage there's quite a few of these that are actually really good uh, for damage i do run this uh, a bit i don't have a problem with this i feel like like this is good but it works kind of the same as the the onk uh as far as like you have to consume something to be able to make it happen but you're going to consume these more often than not also these three rings right here don't change at all i actually never never change these for this build this one changes almost every every time i run something so burden of the gambler i can switch it out for that anastasia's inspiration is really nice assassin seal is really good i also switch it out for zohi's ring uh if i want a little bit more damage i'm not taking damage uh, vestige of power is really nice to have or just you know stone of balance is not bad now we are a little bit uh heavy with this build as you can see so sometimes i run bright steel ring but not as much as you would expect so uh, speaking of heavy uh, this is the armor that we're running and the reason i'm running this a little bit heavier mixed with medium armor is just because when i started doing apoc i was getting one shot so i switched things around just so i can get my uh, total damage reduction up or my dr uh, if you don't like being heavy uh, you can switch out the chest piece maybe for something like that and still have the lighter roll and still have your dr up to 50 percent you can switch this around how much you want as far as the dragon heart uh, this is what i'm running i like the original one the best there's a couple others i like but this is one i like the best and as far as the relics i have flawless relics i can't get mythic red ones for some reason uh, i've i've gone broke with my relic dust multiple times trying to get these up i just can't get them i've managed to get mythic blues and yellows but I, not the reds so still working on that but you know the damage is still good so there's that uh this is the weapon i'm running crescent moon i love this weapon uh, <laughs> i think bows are a lot of fun in this i think the sagittarius bow is really good as well but this just seems to get more damage and it just looks cooler to me. I, I really love this bow and we're running it with supercharger. Supercharger just makes sense for, you know, any fusion rifle or bow. Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't run that, but if you don't want to run that, you don't have to. Uh, second off, I'm running the spectral blade. Uh, I like this just because it fits the look. You know what I mean? The, the blue goes with the, the bow, so it's really nice. And I'm running striker, which isn't something you probably want to run, but I'm running it just because the level 10 version of it increases our movement speed by 3% per stack, which goes up to 15%, which is really nice to have. If you want more damage, I would 
would suggest run something else, but I'm just running. This is this is not a meta build, guys. This is a fun build. And, and then last but not least, I'm running a handgun. It just fits. <laughs> you run whatever you want here. I'm running the handgun just because I feel like it fits with the overall look of the build, you know, the aesthetic, however you want to say it. And I run it with tar bombs and the hot shot so I can use it on tankier targets and burn them down a little bit. Just put a dot on them. And as far as our traits, I'm, these are the traits I'm running right here. I have them set up very specific way just because I did want to have a little bit of tankiness. I want a little bit more ammo or whatever. It just makes sense. You know, if you want to run whatever you want to run here, go for it. Just take a look at what I have and then kind of just base everything off that. Now, bark skin, I didn't run that much into it because I ran more fortify and it seems like I was getting a little bit total uh, DR uh, more out of the, uh, the armor instead of the bark skin, which didn't really make sense to me. And one more thing, I just wanted to show the type of damage you can expect from this. Now, it isn't like amazing damage, but it is pretty good damage. If you go back to the first little bit where we started firing, you could see that that was a 9K crit hidden behind the 4K crit. I just want to show you what this damage is against something with a massive weak spot point versus something like this boss that has no weak spot at all. Now, it would have been a lot more damage in this uh, section of the video, but I totally forgot to put the burden of the gambler on, which would have helped my crit out quite a bit. But either way, you're still doing some really good damage with this build all right guys that pretty much sums it up if you enjoyed it please like subscribe and comment it helps this channel out a lot and it helps me out a lot in the future i'm gonna continue to make more builds on this because i'm having a lot of fun with this game and hopefully you enjoyed this build because it's just, just a really fun build to play with your friends or play solo so you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the future later guys